So where do I see the microbiome going in five to 10 years? Well, really, we've only known about it for the last 10 or 15 years, right? I mean, we've known the microbiome has existed for a long time. Uh, Van Leeuwenhoek, you know, a couple hundred years ago, this Dutch guy who invented the microscope, scraped his teeth and looked under the, the, the lens and saw there's all these little creepy crawly things. And for, you know, a century or two following that, we were kind of limited to just, to just that. We're just looking under the microscope. We can see that there's stuff there. Uh, maybe we can grow it on plates like Louis Pasteur. <clears throat> but we didn't, like uh, most of the stuff that was there, we can't grow. It's called the great plate count anomaly. So when you looked under the microscope, about 90% of the cells you could see, if you tried to grow them on a plate, uh, only 1% to 10% of them would actually grow on your, on your media. And so, so we were missing a vast amount of this diversity that we didn't know was really there. Uh, so with modern sequencing technology, we were able to peer into the microbiome and see it for the first time, you know, two decades ago, decade and a half ago. Uh, and that's, that's really the, the birth of the microbiome field. So we're just in the very beginning, right? This is like Galileo invents the telescope, and we're just getting a first glimpse of this, this new world. So the last decade has been discovery. We've just been, it's like, it's like Darwin on the Beagle. It's like going to South America, walking around, seeing what's there, writing in our notebooks, classifying the diversity that exists. Uh, and, and that's kind of the, the hard slog that we've done for the last decade. What I envision for the next five to 10 years is really cashing in on all of that work. We've built this body of knowledge. We've built a platform for ourselves to really now go and do targeted work to really understand the rules underlying the system, which will then allow us to engineer and manipulate the system. Uh, and the ultimate vision of the field over the next decade will be to take what we've learned and actually make measurable impacts in the lives of ordinary people. We wanna save lives and cure disease through the microbiome. Uh, and I think we've already seen a lot of that happen and I'm nothing but optimistic that it's gonna be the same going forward. So it's gonna be an exciting time to pay attention to the microbiome field. So you know, watch this space.